Yes, my viewers, when you have a lawnmower, it starts, but when you try to power it, the engine fail. You know what I mean? When you try to put a little rev on it, the engine turn off. Alright, stick around to see what's the problem. Alright, my viewers? Welcome to Everslick Media. Welcome to Everslick Media. Yes, my viewers, you don't know. It's all about Everslick from Everslick Media, right now? Working on a lawnmower, yeah? It started, but when you try to pour it, the engine fail. So, my viewers, don't touch the dial. Stick around to see what's coming next. All right? All right, my viewers. We are gonna do some touch up on it before we try to start it. All right? Yeah, as you can see, the butterfly, the carburetor, butterfly inside the carburetor, a flick. Yeah. All right. Check to make sure that we leave gas inside it the last time. Yes, my viewers, gas inside it. All right, so yeah, we'll do some like a real routine check. Make sure we have inhale inside. Yeah, all right, stick around. Okay, okay, my viewers, this is the hile I'm going to use. I'm going to put some of this engine aisle inside. Inside here, all right. Yes, exceed. Motor hile, all right. A real man. So stick around. Do some little touch up and some little brush up to make sure the engine is in good shape, and then check to see what's the problem. Why, when we try to power it, it go out. All right. Yeah, my viewers. I scraps the the lawnmower down. All right. Take off the gas tank. Take off the carburetor. All right. This is the most problem with lawnmower when it start but not you can't rev it you can't get power the diaphragm yeah the diaphragm is the problem you know what I mean yeah the gas kit on the diaphragm right on top of the gas tank yeah but you have to pull off the gas tank first yeah pull off this little covering off of the carburetor yeah and then you pull those six screws one two three four five six all right and you get the diaphragm out with the okay so you make sure you clean up all these part of it here yeah use some gas and wash it out before you put the new diaphragm in that is the the most common problem with lawnmower when it is given problem yeah or else you change the plug Make sure the plug is all right. Make sure the plug is all right. Okay. Make sure the gas. The gas is going to the, the carburetor. Make sure the diaphragm is working properly. So most of the time you just change the diaphragm and you're good to go. All right. So I'm going to fit back this up because I don't have a diaphragm here. But I'm going to do some cleaning up. And put it back together, see if I can get it set. All right. Hit that my viewers. Alright. Yeah man, I hit that you know. Yeah, I hit that you see when I in an engineer shop. Yeah man, things happen, you know what I mean? So you don't know you know. It's all about clean up the, the carburetor. 
yeah get it up and running again and get a one kick and it start and it's ready take out the dare from get a little clean up you know get a little touch a little tender touch most of the time you know you don't have to change a dare from you know some of the time it's just some little techniques you know yeah i'm going to show you a little a little trick about lawnmower all right stay tuned yes my viewers right here the carburetor right the diaphragm is here but there's a little piece of metal come up from the diaphragm off the diaphragm come up right in here that is what control the butterfly here yeah most of the time it get it pull off it it loose off yeah i'm gonna open it i'm gonna open it and show you my viewers and they give me a little time show you what's going on my viewers when you come to learn more there's a little trick in it when you go and you buy a new diaphragm you get it in the right and proper way but most of the time you have a lawnmower using you know the, the lawnmower vibrator make a whole heap of noise and have the hinging up and down all about alright so I'm gonna show you a little trick, my people, where they go on. But most, most lawnmower mechanic don't tell you. Yeah, them tell you say you want a new diaphragm. Alright. Oh, shucks. Come on, man. Alright. This little cap here. If you notice, you can pull it off. Why the reason they make it that it can pull off? Here's a reason. All right, this piece of metal comes straight from the diaphragm. Yeah, come up right in here, and this little cups up and the butterfly here. If you notice, when the butterfly move, this little metal move because the metal connected inside here. Most of the time, the vibration of the lawnmower pull it out, so you have this little piece inside here highly now. You know what I mean? So yeah, most time you just pull it up, put it back in. Pull out the diaphragm, pull these six, six, six screws, clean the diaphragm, put it back up. Yeah, learn more ready again. Yeah, man. So, right, that's right there, you know. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you know, to my YouTube channel, you know, Ever Slick Media. So, I'm gonna say, and don't forget to lick the notification bell, because if you don't do so, you're gonna see the next video I come out. Thing. So, right now, I'm gonna start it again and get the next try. Make sure you say it good to go. Cause it never used to rev. When I press the rev, now nah, rev out. Yeah, so I'm gonna check it again, make sure I say everything around and it up. Alright my viewers. So yeah man.
Yes, we people. Land more ready, you know. Land more ready. Land more ready, 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 like Freddy. <laughs>